Well, I, I took up painting again in 2004, and, and I used to live in Salina, where the wind constantly blows at 35 miles per hour or faster. I remember plein air painting the cozy hamburger place and, and uh, hold, holding the masonite panel down on my lap so it wouldn't fly away. I think that's where I first started getting thoughts about coming to Lawrence. And, where the wind doesn't blow so much. Do the homeowners ever come out? Um, occasionally they do. And most times they're friendly. <laughs> A lot of times I find when I'm painting in public, um, you know, people will walk by and they'll just kind of ignore you, you know, when it's not looking so good. <laughs> and, but then if you can get something going about after an hour and a half, then, then they start to look at it and the public starts to notice. It's a big house, so I'm not used to I've been doing the little shacks. Some people, when I say shacks, they, they mean that to be um, not complimentary, but, but I, don't, I don't mean that in a not complimentary way. I respect the history of the, of the little shacks as, as working people's residences. You know, not every painting's going to turn out. I might have to make 10 or 20 paintings before I get one that's something that I can take to a gallery. Attracting revenue is a very difficult process for artists. Probably the ones who struggle the most are the mid-career artists. The beginners, you know, they have friends. <laughs> the mid-career people are reaching to, to get better. <laughs>